Well, hey there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So if you've watched my channel for any time, you know I love using me some cast iron. So I had some old cast iron skillets of my Mama D's that needed um, some attention to. So I figured I'd show you how to use a lie tank to clean off your skillets. If you got some that you had for a while that were bad crusty and you need to get off the old seasoning. So you can see there I'm using 100% lye. And if you're going to use it, make sure you get the 100% lye little crystals. And this is just a drain cleaner that you can get. And I got it off of Amazon. And then you'll need some really good thick pair of rubber gloves. And then I had some eyewear too just to be safe. Because this stuff, if it gets on you, it can, it can burn you. So be careful if you're going to use it. But I'll just show you how to set it up and everything for a lie tank. It's super simple, much easier than electrolysis when it comes to setting up and less expensive too. All you need is just a little tub and water and then the lie and that's it. So with lie, you got to do the formula for it and it's just a pound of lye for every five gallons of water. And this was a two pound little carton container of lye, so you're just gonna use half of it. So I measured out five gallons of water, and with your water, if you can get it as hot as possible, the lye is gonna be more effective in working. And these are the skillets. One was a number seven, three notch lodge, and the other was a BSR chicken fryer. You can see they got a lot of old crud that's just baked on them and it needs to come off and I can get them looking good and seasoned good again. So I ease them down in the lie tank there and let them sit. You can see the water is steaming and it's hot. And y'all can also see there that it's already taken off some of that baked on seasoning. So I'm gonna let these sit in the lie tank for three days and do nothing with it, just let it sit. And make sure you, with your container, you got a really good lid that you can put on it and you can get it out of the way so no kids or animals or nothing can get in it. So this is after three days, you can see the water has just turned jet black. It's stripped off all of the old seasoning and stuff so now i can get them out scrub them off good and wash them down and dry them and then i can start the seasoning process and you can see now the after effects of cleaning them up you can actually see the bottom of the skillet now you about didn't see the heat ring on this one and like I said, this was a three lots, three knots lodge, just number seven skillet. Looking much better. And then this is just a BSR, Birmingham Stove and Range, chicken fryer. And got all that baked on crud and seasoning off of them. And now I'm gonna start the seasoning process of them again. And I'll stick them in the oven at 200 degrees get them warmed up and then I can start putting on my seasoning and for my seasoning I used easy beasy cast iron seasoning if you haven't checked that out or used it I, I highly recommend it and I'll try to leave a link down below to it but you can see that skillet looks pretty well brand new and there's the inside of it and there's the chicken fryer. It looks much, much better too. Gave it a brand new life again to get much more use out of it. I don't know how long my mom and dad had them and used them before I even I came along. So they're probably a lot, even, a lot older than me. So they'll still have a lot more use in them just to take care of them and clean them up and keep, keep them good and seasoned. And like I said, I warmed up the oven 200 degrees, put on the seasoning, wiped off of the seasoning, 
and then put them in the oven at 500 degrees for an hour then take them out let them cool down to touch and then start that process over again and I do that a total of three times and then they're pretty well set to go on the seasoning and then you can touch up every so often when you need to but anyways that's how you set up a lie tank or cast iron and you can reuse that lye water for multiple times until it about just quits using so you can use it a lot before you ever have to dispose of it but anyways i appreciate y'all as always for watching y'all please like share and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next one